Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica and I am here with another new video. So you're probably wondering why the hell does my hair look like this? It's because I am going to show you how I blow dry my hair with my favorite tool, the Hot Tools Professional Blow Dryer with a brush. I got this for Christmas from Maria and it's honestly like the best gift ever. It is so amazing. I told you guys it's super easy and I'm going to prove it to you today. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is use this leave-in conditioner. It's just to, so um, to keep my hair soft and I just love the smell of it. So I kind of just spray it all over my hair. You don't have to use this if you don't want to, but I just do because I like to have my hair feeling soft. And I feel like it helps a lot, especially if you're about to just damage your hair. All right, so once I do that, I kind of just spray it all over and then just brush it with the brush. Sometimes I'll even spray the brush a little like this and you know, shake it and then brush it through. Kind of just helps get through all the hair. All right. So I did that. Make sure to get the ends. Then very important, which you should never skip, is a thermal heat protection spray. Super important. You do not want to burn your hair and it just saves your hair from all the heat that you're about to place it. So I always start at the end. I spray a lot of this and kind of just like crunch it up with my hair and then I spray it all over. I just do the whole hair because sometimes if I just do one part, I'll forget to do the other part. Then I am going to, with a scrunchie, I am going to just tie half my hair up because I am not going to work on this just yet. Just to it, it helps it just to get out of the way. And then um, what I do is I just split my hair in half. I mean, naturally my hair falls like this where it splits in half, but if yours doesn't, it'll be a good idea to just split it in half. And then you can start with one side. So I like to start in at the bottom. Um, it does help if you grab like a clip and then clip your hair, which I should do. So give me a second. Okay, so um, once I have my hair up like this, I will grab just a little section of um, the hair. I usually like to start from the back and work my way forward. Maria actually taught me this technique. So what I will do is put um, the brush in the back just to um, have the hair lay on it and then grab this part of the hair and bring it forward like this. And then I will let it go because it, it stays on the brush and then I'll brush it out like this. Okay, so I'm gonna show you one more time. So you grab just like a little um, section of the hair. You're gonna grab your brush, lay it behind the hair, have the hair laying down and then bring this part of the hair forward and just um, make a circle just so it, it like kind of um, folds inwards into the brush and then just brush it out like this okay and you're gonna see it the magic happen I like to keep it also on high just because it just it helps a lot um, makes it much quicker but if you don't have a lot of hair it's very thin then I don't think you should do high you should probably try low first and see how that works for you okay and you can see it only takes one time and you already have like your hair so perfectly straight like it just looks so beautiful and I love it and it doesn't feel that hot like it's it's not burning your hair so much it's so much better than just using a strainer where it's like direct contact onto your hair I'm gonna show you one more time so I like to again grab from the back so I'll just grab like a little section like this throw it in the back while I put this back into the clip just so that way it stays away and again the same thing I'm going to start with the brush in the back have the hair laying on it and then fold this over and then just push it down like this okay beautiful and always make sure that you're brushing each section just so that way 
it doesn't get stuck there because sometimes like if you have a lot of tangles it'll get stuck and then you're like i mean this does brush it out but it just makes it a little bit difficult so there look how beautiful okay i am going to um continue with this section and i'll see you guys in a little bit And done. This is the half of my hair. Look how nice it is. Again, I brush it out. Super quick, super easy, and it just leaves it looking so beautiful. It feels so soft. And I love it because when you blow dry your hair, it doesn't just stay flat like this, how it, how a strainer would leave your hair. It like kind of has volume to it. You know, it feels thick and luscious and beautiful. Anyways, um, the little, the baby hairs, you're kind of wondering like, okay, well, how the hell do you do that with that, you know, big ass thing? I will show you, okay? Marie actually taught me this trick when I was trying to learn how to do the blow dryer. Um, and I kind of just um, was like, oh, maybe it would work with this thing too. I mean, it's a blow dryer too. And it does, okay? It helps so, it's so much better. So, really closely, I'll try to zoom in, but please don't look at my tired face the little hairs right there you're going to just use this brush it's like you're hugging it um obviously it's not loving you because it's blowing hot air in your face you're gonna push it back and then all the way back like this okay it's like you're kind of hooking the hair and then once you have it hooked you're gonna push it back and you're just brushing it back so let's do this nice and then what I do is I just kind of go over like the hair a little bit just to see like if you see if there's like a little bit of waves there because I went super quick so what I'm gonna do is just grab that hair and kind of go over it a little bit just so that way I strain it better nice and that is it you see how beautiful this looks like it just looks so freaking nice I love it and that is how you get a beautiful blow dry with this beautiful tool. I am going to finish on this side super quick, okay? And there you have it, your beautiful at home blow dry. Super easy, super fast. You guys definitely need to get yourselves one. It is freaking amazing. My hair feels so soft, so nice. It's not even hot anymore. Like, it just feels so good and beautiful. After you let your brush cool down, make sure to clean it out. Just take all the hairs out. That's just going to ensure that the next time you use it, you're going to get another beautiful blow dry. And it's just better to take care of it that way. And also, to make sure your hair is not completely... <laughs> My boyfriend just walked in. <laughs> come in, come in. <laughs> like the hair? Yeah, it looks nice. Doesn't it look like I just went to a salon? Mm-hmm. Come, say hi. No. <laughs> Be shy. Okay, so yeah, I forgot to mention too in the beginning of the video that you cannot use this when your hair is soaking wet. Make sure it's damp. What I did beforehand is just air dried or you can also towel dry. But that is it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below what else you guys would like to see. Subscribe and share. And I will see you guys very soon with another new video. Bye!